Hey y'all. So I went to, hold on. I was watching TikTok. I went to um, Trader Joe's. And this is my second time going because y'all gonna see in a previous clip. I don't know if I'm gonna add it to this vlog or another vlog, but y'all gonna see where. Oh, this is a different lady because I'm sure, like, y'all gonna see where I went to Trader Joe's the other day. But the stuff I got, I was so impressed with, I went back again. So I went back and spent $44. I'm gonna show y'all the stuff that I got. I got extra stuff in this bag that has nothing to do with Trader Joe's. I just put it in here. But let me show y'all the stuff I got. I got some avocados because I like avocado toast. So that's one thing I got. And let me show y'all the rest of the stuff. I got some um butter, like butter chicken with the rice. I got some of that too, but I left it, you know, at work. I think I ate that today. But let me show y'all the stuff that I got. This right here is so freaking good, y'all. This stuff. This is the Trader Joe's Lemongrass Coconut Body Oil with almond and jojoba oil. I had to get two of them because this is that good. It's no animal testing. Moisturizes the skin without being greasy. True, true, true. Gentle, light. It smells so good. The lemongrass is not overly strong. It lasts a good like four, five, six type-ish hours where you have to reapply it, but a little goes a long way. It smells good. It only has great ingredients. Apply on skin and massage gently if oil gets cold. You know, it might turn solid because it has coconut oil. And you know, coconut oil, when it's cold or when the temperature is cold, it gets harder. But these are a good product. Y'all yeah, definitely should try these at Trader Joe's if you ever go in there. $3.99, y'all. $3.99. And then I got an extra one of these because I already got one. This is the vitamin E firming body butter. Oh, y'all, this smells so good. And I'm just realizing it's a firming body butter. So you probably want to put this only in the places that's going to, you know, you want to firm up. Like, you don't want it to be too loose or things like that. It just says apply to the body for dry skin. I love this. It smells so, like, citrusy, like oranges and lemon. It smells so good. But this is like my top favorite product. But this is good. I put this on top and then I put this over it. Shelf's Kiss. This is my first time trying this. But I put this in my hair and it did lay down my flyaways. But this is the Shea Butter and Coconut Oil Hair Serum. It helps tame frizz and add shine. It's 81 milliliters, 2.7 D5, 2.75 fluid ounces. This is how it looks. This is my first time using this, but I didn't have the um, silk uh, stuff that I usually have. I know y'all know what it is. I be buying it off Amazon, but I didn't buy it this time. I just end up getting this and seeing this, but this works just as good. I might just start getting this when I go to refill my products. Yeah. And then I always buy this or I get the liquid form. This is just the all-in-one hemp peppermint pre castrol bar soap from dr bronner's y'all know i love this stuff i've been getting this and using this forever i've been using a bar soap forever but i usually get the liquid the last thing i got is something new that i wanted to try because i love putting a oil on my face i just think it just is good to put an oil on your face not necessarily always moisturize you can switch from a daily moisturizer to a sunscreen to an oil so this and i don't know how to pronounce this but this is the marola marula facial oil it says cold press uh virgin sea oil so that's what it says it is 25 milliliters 0.85 fluid ounces it looks like this so i'm gonna use this for my face it says use daily on face to hydrate moisturize and help improve skin radiance apply a few drops onto the palm of your hand rub pants together and pat oil onto the face so yeah, this is really, really cool and I cannot wait to try it. I just saw it. They have a lot of stuff. I was really sleeping on their non-food items and so I had to go over there and I cannot wait to try this. It looks kind of watery though, so probably only want to use a few drops. But I don't want my facial oil to be extremely thick too. But this bottle is so cute. It's like an ombre blackish grayish looking color. This is very aesthetically pleasing. It is glass. So when I use these products, I'm definitely going to 
show y'all when I use uh, when I do my face care I'm definitely gonna show y'all but this just go get this like don't even think about it just pick you up about four or five I'm still looking for a different type of oil that somebody mentioned in their YouTube uh, kinesthetic mention so I'm still looking for that I think it's like this brand it's like it looks like this is in a yellow container but it's a body oil so I'm still looking for that but I'm very pleased with their nine food items and I can't wait to get more things and try them out but yeah I just wanted to come on here and show y'all that um I'm waiting on my son like always I don't think I recorded for real when I was at Trader Joe's just a little bit but y'all know um when I don't have nothing to do during the week I don't record but today they actually canceled the event we had yesterday that we were supposed to have at the church. So now we're having like a team night. So I'm gonna go to that. Um, I just have to pick the kids up early to take them home. But yeah, we're gonna go to the team night and I might record. I always say I'm gonna record at church, but then I don't. But I might record. It just depends. I don't wanna make people feel uncomfortable. But my battery is about to die and I have one left. I need to go home and charge it. So I'll just see y'all if i feel comfortable recording at church hey y'all happy friday i just got off of work and i have a few i don't really have nothing to do for real for real like that i just need to go to the atm and i need to get a money order so that's what i'm about to do because i have to pay my rent and nobody ain't about to keep giving them no 30 dollars for a late fee because no so that's what I'm about to do. I gotta get some money out to get my mom and my uncle. But I wanted to go to Bath and Body Works because they have like a buy three, get three. And I have this free body care item up to $9. Value while supplies last, limited one, exclusive supply, shopping in hell. Plus a 20% off. Hey y'all, so I'm in the car right now. I was just cleaning up and mopping. I don't know why. I didn't record it but I didn't and I flat on my hair the flat irons that I use I got off of TikTok and I just feel like they didn't make my hair as straight as I wanted it and I did hear like other people say that it didn't make their hair straight as well so yeah I mean it is flat but I don't know I wanted a bone straight type of flat yeah but it didn't give me that but needless to say uh i need to change my wig in a minute anyway because baby i've been wearing this out because oq y'all did y'all big one but um it's 5 38 i don't really have to leave right now but i was just leaving because i feel like if i wasn't gonna leave right now i was gonna keep mopping and i don't want to have to do that i need to get some paper towels but i really don't want to be out because friday like people be getting paid and they be outside and y'all know that ain't my type of crowd but yeah, I'm about to go pick my kids up. Um, yeah, I paid my rent. I didn't end up going to Bath and Body Works just because, like, I feel like I don't need that stuff. And I feel like if I go, I'm going to spend money that I do not need to spend. And I have stuff that I need to pay, so I need to stay focused. But, yeah, we're about to go pick up the kids. Maybe I'll take them to a park to yes, play that's what for I'm a like. little bit. Did I bring my bag? It's in the bag. Okay, good. Yeah, I'm gonna take them to a park to play and yeah, then we gonna come back home. But that's all I wanted to say. So this is probably gonna be the end of this day until tomorrow. Um, uh, we just, maybe we have to go get some batteries. I don't know. No, I think it does. But I don't know if they any good or not. I can try. Okay. And them look old anyway. So we might go to Dollar Tree, but we might not. Y'all, I'm tired. Like when I say I'm off that floor, that floor was floor. <laughs> And I have not heard nobody ever say that, but it's a lot of floor downstairs. Plus, we don't have nothing in the living room. So, yeah, it was a lot of floor. And even if we did, like, I feel like I would move the couch and stuff because I wouldn't want that area to just stay like that because I feel like stuff would just grow dormant there. Hope I'm using that word right. But, yeah, y'all, yeah, I'm just being a chatter. I'm going to go pick my kids up, and then we're going to go to the park. Hey, y'all. Uh, happy Saturday. So... I don't have much to do today. Um, I need to go to Dollar Tree because I need to get a few house items or at least see. I want to go to a different Dollar Tree because I feel like I always go to the same ones and they always have the same thing. So I'm going to try to go to a different Dollar Tree to see if they have something different. I'm actually going to go like on a whole different side of town maybe. 
I don't know yet, but I just need to go somewhere different from where I've been going because they don't seem to have the same stuff. Stop. You even hit him. So that's what I'm about to do. Um, and I'll just see y'all when we get there. Hey y'all, so we at our first destination, which is Once Upon a Child. I'm just gonna go in here and see if I can find the kids some shoes. Um, so we're not gonna be here that long, but all the stores are in this complex, so I super, super, super love it. So this is the first place that we're going to stop. So let's just go. And I got the kids with me. Say hi, y'all. And they are right here. Yeah. So let's go and see what we can find. I'm just Never gonna mind. put this penny in How my much? hair. How much? It's dirty. Oh, that ain't bad. Try mine. I'm just, gonna oh, put, I'm just gonna put this penny in my hair and see if it's still there. Hit that. Uh, <laughs> And then I'll show y'all the stuff that we got from Once Upon a Child. And then I'll show you the stuff that we got from The Goodwill. I might stand up on some parts because I have like dresses and you're not gonna be able to see them from here. But the stuff that I can do on the floor, I'm gonna do on the floor because your girl beat a shit tired. So we're gonna get this to the Dollar Tree stuff. The first thing I got is this shower caddy that I'm gonna put in the bathroom downstairs. Um, I got one of these for upstairs and I really, really like the quality of it. It sticks to the bottom of the mirror really well. It holds everybody's toothbrush and I just wanted another one. But I got this bigger one for the smaller bathroom because I usually just be down there and I can add more stuff. Um, but yeah, so I just got this and this is good quality, y'all. Then I got these two sink strainers. Uh, they are in the gray color, even though my kitchen is like a black type of thing. You really won't see these because they're going to be inside the sink. But I just got them for more like support because the other ones I have, stuff still gets down in there. And I have to like take it off and then clean it. But this, I like how it goes wide. So it really will block like stuff that you don't want to go in the sink to go in the sink. So I got these. But this is the Indian hemp. Um, this like a little grease. Yeah. Come on. And I used to use this a long time ago, but it was something different. But I just got this just to get it. It smells really good. And I'm going to use this like to oil my scalp when I have my wigs on and I have the braids as well as her scalp. I also got like some little snack items. I got a chocolate pudding. I also got this one. This is like chocolate and vanilla mix. I got batteries because I needed batteries. Double A batteries. I also got this anti-itch cream because my son, my baby, he has like a rash on his back. So I'm gonna try to use this. And after he gets out the shower, I'm gonna rub this on his back just so we can kind of clear that up a little bit and see how that works. That's everything from the first bag. I got this ice cube tray. And I got this one because I wanted like different type of ice cubes because I got some wine and I have to show y'all. I just have to get it. I think I left it in the car, so I'm gonna go get it. But yeah, I wanted to make some smaller ice cubes than the big box ones, so I got this. I got this popcorn. Y'all know I get this popcorn every time because I like it as well as the kids. Um, it's been doing real good because I remember one time I bought it and it was stale, but it hasn't been stale lately, so I bought it. We needed a soap container for a downstairs bathroom, so I got this one, and I already have like soap refills, so when it runs out, I'll be able to put more soap in it. So we just got this, and I got the Dow one in vanilla and honey because I really like this scent. And I like Dow so It's cool, especially for washing your hands. Yeah, I know I gotta re-up on my spoons and forks just so we can keep them in rotation for the kids when we eat and stuff like that. I got more alcohol, 70% rubbing alcohol because we needed this in the bathroom. It's always good to have alcohol and peroxide, like no matter what. And you can really clean with alcohol, so. Even if you don't necessarily use it for scars and stuff. This is the other grease that I was telling y'all about. Then I have some vitamin A and D cream that I'm gonna use. It says it moisturizes.
helps smooth dry skin and flaky skin. I'm also going to apply this to my son as well. And I got more batteries. I have double A batteries and then I have two more packs of triple A batteries just in case. Cause I'm gonna put some little lights up where they can just tap the light and they can, you know, have it, use it at their discretion. I also got some family care nasal relief because my son is having breathing issues a little bit and this kind of helps him when you clear up your nose. Um, it kind of helps you breathe a lot better, especially if it's starting to be allergy season, spring and summer and stuff. So I did pick this up and I got some cookies. They're right here, but I've been bashing. And I got an orange juice too, but I drank the orange juice when I was in the car because we did go to the park and run around for a little bit and play on stuff. So, so that's everything from Dollar Tree. I'm going to show you what I got from Once Upon a Child now. I got some really cute shoes from there and I was excited about them. They were really decent prices. So let's just get into it. The first thing my daughter picked out, this is Speed Trend. And it says this was 70 bucks and I only paid $12. It's like a jean jumpsuit and it's so cute. It's in the shorts. It's in a size 10. It just looks like this. That's supposed to be $70. This, and if my underarms is sweaty, I was working out. So please excuse me. I just came from working out at the park. I just want to get this stuff out the way and show y'all. But yeah, I think this is so cute. It's seven, seven, and $70 to $12, you can't beat that. It's just like a little jean jumper. So, so cute. If they had one of these in my size, baby, I would've picked it out too, because it's cute. Too, too tight. And then I got her this dress. This dress is in a size 10, and it was $7.50. I had a 20% off coupon too, so I used that. The total was like $130. This is art class in a size 10, 12. I'm trying to figure out what brand that is. Art class. I'm familiar with it, but I don't remember. She just got a little gray dress. It looks like this. And let me scoot the camera back so I can make sure y'all get like the full picture. Yeah. And then I picked these pants out for my four year old. These are Lion Dynasty. They were four dollars and fifty cents, and they just look like this. I just like the designs on them, and I like how the back of them look. They have rips on them, and I really really like those. And then I picked these out. These are shorts. They are in a size six, and they were three dollars and fifty cents. It's from Walmart. I just like the art on them, and they were like a fake a jean material, so I picked them out. They have like a guitar on there, you see on the side. I think that's really cute and different, so I picked it out. I got these pants for my nine-year-old, and I thought these were the cutest pants. These are Switch Remarkable in a size 10. They were originally $52, but I got them for $14, they're black, and they just have like, you know, graffiti on them, paint. All oh, these are so dope. I wish they had some like in a adult size, but they look like this. Super, super cute for $14. Very good material, they're stretchy, and they really look good on him. So I'm so excited about these. And then I got him another pair. These are some Slim Taper Gap pants. They were $10 in a size 10, and they're slim. And they just look like this, just regular uh, pants with a little acid watch type of situation. Simple and cute because he did need some more pants. I got him one more pair of pants. They were in a size 10, and they were $7.50. These are H&M pants, and they just look like this. Just simple type of jeans. So now we're going to get into the shoes. So the first pair of shoes I bought were for Baby D and they were $25. These are some Nike black toy yellow shoes. That's what it says on here. But they're in a size 7 so they're a little bigger because the 6 wasn't fitting so I went ahead and went up a size. They look like this. I think these are so cute. I love all the different colors and I can't wait to just put them on these. And again, these were $25, which I do not think is a bad price for Nike shoes. And then I bought him these Jordans. 
at Once Upon a Child and they were $16 in a size seven. And I just thought they were still in good condition. So I went ahead and picked them up. And you can always wash the shoestrings if you want to, but for a one year old, I think these are perfectly fine for under $20. So I definitely sold those. And then I bought these for my daughter. These are some Nikes as well. And they were in a size six, they were $30. They're just some black and white Nikes. And I just think these are cute for $30. $30. So I picked these up. And then these are the last shoes. And this is the last item that I bought from Once Upon a Child. These are some Nikes as well for $30. And they are in this color right here. And these are for my six year old. So that's everything I got from Once Upon a Child. So now I'm about to resituate the camera so I can show y'all everything I got from the Goodwill. So we'll be back in one minute. Okay, y'all, so I'm about to show y'all everything I got from the Goodwill. I actually didn't get any bags because y'all know they're not giving out bags anymore. You basically have to buy them. So I had some bags that I used from Aldi's. I bought those from all these because I go to all these a lot. So I was like, let me just get reusable bags. So let's just get into what I found. The first thing I got was this pot. It was $4.74. And I just bought this like to make noodles, to make rice. I didn't have many of these. You know, I got a lot of skillets, but I didn't have a lot of like pots. And so I just purchased this and I love when it has the top with it. So just in case I want to steam some or I want to boil something, I need to put the top on it, it has a top. And it was under $5, so I just think that's so awesome. And this is good material, like this is a really good pot. It says non-stick surface, so I really like that. Y'all know I love me some coffee, so I got this and I thought it was just the cutest. It says coffee till cocktails, and this is how it looks, and it's in black and white. And I'm like, you have to love that. So, so cute, and it was only $2.83, so I could be at work sipping my coffee, minding my business, making my money, yeah, cheers. Then I saw this, this was $4.74, and it just looks brand new. It's like a tumbler cup, it came with a straw and a top. So I did go ahead and pick this out because I thought it was cute. I put my water in here, and I like that it says you can do brave things and it has us kind of girls on there you know i love all kind of girls but when it has us kind of girls yeah in all shades yeah 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 so i thought this was cute so i picked it out this baby right here was only 474 and i could put noodles in here pasta it has candles on there so you won't burn yourself i was really happy to buy this i was really happy to buy this really good quality i don't know if it's like a nice thick or whatever but i like the size of it for pastas and rice and things like that and medleys and whatever else the case may be so i was happy and it was under five dollars you know my dishes don't have to match because we just do our thing over here the last dish i got is this i'm so so happy about this because yesterday i made like a seafood boil but i had to only make like a little bit of it because I didn't have any pots big enough. So, and I like to make a stew too, so I'm so happy I got this. This was $7.48. It has like the holes in there if you wanna steam something. It's just a really nice size to make big portion items. Like if I wanna make stew or soup or whatever the case may be, this is big enough to do all that. So, and it's my favorite color red, so like how can you go wrong, period. So yeah, I got this and you. So now we're about to get into the clothing items. I always gotta look at the clothes, y'all. I just don't understand, like, I literally can be like, I'm not gonna look at the clothes today. I'm gonna look at everything else. And where you gonna find me? Right. In the clothes section. Look, so let's just get into it. These pants, how could you leave these pants, y'all? These pants were in an extra large. Even though I don't wear extra large no more, I just think the bagginess is going to eat down. They were $4.88. They have a jawstring that works. Stay with me, they have pockets. They have ribbons at the bottom. These is, hands down my favorite item. Look at these y'all. Zippers, like pockets, more pockets. But the tight thing about these is at the bottom, they have a whole situation going on. Like they have a zipper at the bottom y'all. 
and they have this little strap thing that you can put on it with a heel. Oh, y'all, this with a, a strappy heel. Stop playing with me. Oh my God, they have poppies on a bag. These are so fire, and they were only $4.88. $4.88. $4.88, y'all. I can't wait to try these on with the outfit. They're going to eat down. These are so freaking cute. The next thing I got is a dress, and it's in a size small. It was $6.10. This is from Old Navy. It doesn't actually look like a small. It looks super floy, so that's why I got it. It is going to be see-through, but I'm okay with that because I'm most likely going to wear a jacket and like some black underwear as well. So it's just this simple black dress is super flowy and stretchy i really really like that it has buttons on the front of it and i just think this is something simple like i told y'all in the spring and summer i'm just throwing on dresses and going about my business so i'm so happy to have this put some sandals on and it is what it is this looked like it was brand new or whatever it just looked like it hasn't been worn yet but your girl don't wear it so Period. This is so cute. I really like this. That is stretchy good. So I got that. I got this like bottom. I guess this is like to control your stomach and stuff like that type thing. But for dresses, it was $4.74. And it says it's in a size 2X. So this is the back right here and this is the front. I guess you basically put this on to cover up like your stomach area and whatnot. And to cover up your fat and stuff on the sides. So that's why I got it. I'm gonna try it out. I usually don't wear any shapewear. I just let my body do what my body do. But I'm like, maybe I can clean it up a little bit until I actually get there with working out and stuff. So I did pick this out. It's super structured, but it still is flowy and you're not gonna be like too tight or whatever the case may be. It's double lined right here. If you can see that and then it kind of goes, if you can see. And then it has tape on it, so it's not like moving around or rolling up. If you can see, it's like sticky right here. And I really like that. So it can stick to your body where it needs to and not move around. So I'm excited about that. So the next thing I have is just a bra. It just looks like this, just a little granny bra. I don't need all that stuff or wire and stuff in it all the time because my boobs are pretty much for the most part big, just a little saggy. But this was 681. And baby, I did not know this bra was that much. But I got it anyway, and I hope it fits. It's looking a little small, but my back coming in a little bit, so we gonna see. The next thing I got is really, really cute. I got this dress, and even though it's in a small, I got it because this is the type of dress you could just let sit on your shoulders. It doesn't really matter how the bottom, because the bottom is gonna fall and flow. So I did pick this up, and I got three of these already. This was $6.10, and I just really like the colors. It is see-through, but I just feel like this is super airy, and it's just so cute with some nude shoes. Like, even if you got one of these color shoes, but I don't, I have nude shoes, I think this will be so freaking cute. Oh, I just can't wait to wear. I love just putting on a dress in the summertime and just going. This is so cute. I love the pattern of it. The next dress is from Sheen. This is in a size large. And my favorite color is red. That's one reason why I got it. It was $6.10. It's just so flowy. It might be super big on me, but I still just got it because I thought it would be so cute. It's just so flowy. It's so, so cute. I can't wait to wear it. And I do simple stuff. I could even wear this with like a heel, like a really, really fat, chunky heel. And I got like two in mine I want to wear. You can even do this with a sandal. You can even do this with a tennis shoe, with a jean jacket. It's just so cute. I can't wait to wear this. Yeah, and it was super inexpensive, only $6. The next thing I got is a robe, because y'all know I was in my robe era for a minute, and I already have like a thick purple robe, So, and I have a white robe. I just gotta find it. I don't even know where that mug is. So I got another robe and this is a pink robe. It says one size fits all. This robe was $5.69 and it says Kenny Blue. And let me just try it on and see. I'm gonna put all this stuff in a washer. I'm gonna be able to wash tomorrow, so I'm happy about that. So this looks like this. 
And I just think this is super chill, just something to wear around the house type situation. It's not too long. Let me put this down for y'all. It's not too long at all. I think this is fine. I really like this detailing right here. I just think that it gives it a little extra flavor. I'm sorry, y'all, the camera is shaking. So sorry. But yeah, I just think this is super simple and cute. So I did go ahead and pick that out. I was debating about this dress because I just didn't know, like, I didn't know if I wanted to get it or not. I can't wait to try these pieces on. They're probably not gonna be in this video, but I will try them on and try to show y'all. But I got this dress. This is Mother D in a small. It was $6. Now, I got this because of the color, but I got it because I just feel like it's going to hug right. I feel like the top is going to be fitted and then the bottom is just going to flow. And I just think that it's so cute. Like, I've never bought anything like this. And the lady said it was cute, so I got it. And it's gonna tie around that part. And it's just, look at this. This is extremely flowy. I love that. Oh, I can't wait, I can't wait. I bought my daughter this little tennis skirt. It says Athletic Girl. It was in a size 14 and it was $3.69. So I just bought her these and I think this is really cute. And it has shorts underneath, so I got that for her. And then I found these pants for $3.68. They were 50% off for my four-year-old. And I just got those for him. And that's pretty much everything that I got. So I'm done showing y'all everything. I'm about to put that wine in the refrigerator. I'm about to Take a shower and lay down. Um, I didn't get to go to the gym, but I did work out when I was at the park. And yeah, I'm gonna try to finish it in a video so I can have a video up for Sunday. That would be awesome. Yeah, so I'll just see y'all later.